My name is Mazino Peel, and with me here today for nutrition, we have Abimbola Ulushalanke. She's a certified nutritionist and also dietitian who offers nutrition and lifestyle coaching services. On nutrition, she will be talking about food options for stress management. Now, Bimbo, it's not something I've thought about. When I'm stressed, I usually just plug in some ice cream or chocolate, like a real boost. I don't know if I'm doing myself bad. A, a whole lot of harm, oh, actually. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> really, so there's such a thing as um, options for uh, stress relief when it comes to your diet. Absolutely. This is the first time I'm hearing that. Yeah. But do talk us through this. Okay, so um, first of all, we need to understand that um, stress is a normal reaction when your body senses that you're probably in danger mm. or maybe you have certain deadlines to meet. So it triggers a reaction in your system, which is absolutely normal. So the reaction is either you fight or you flee. Okay. So flight for, or fight. I've heard that yeah, before. <laughs> yeah. And, it, you know, it's it useful for self-preservation. -pre yeah. However, if it becomes, like, unending, prolonged, protracted, it becomes an issue mm. um, and can um, affect your, the quality of health and yeah. the quality of life that you live. Okay. So... Um, so when, when it comes to managing stress, I like to go the route of food because I see food as medicine mm. rather than just popping pills because some of these things also have their side, side effects and they can lead to high levels of certain nutrients or elements in your system that okay. can trigger a chain of other um, health issues okay. again. So um, to go... Well, well, so. Um, so what, the, what? You know what I do? What, the, the, what, the way I've always seen it is this, yeah. yeah? When you're stressed, mm -hmm. I just believe something in there tells me that my body needs endorphins and dolphins and dolphins. And one of the only ways you can get that is through sweet, well, chocolate mostly. Yeah, I've heard so. So I would actively search out chocolates when I'm stressed. And I also note that there are many different kinds of stress, uh, stresses. Yes, there, there, there's the nervous type and then there's a the type that comes with pressure mm -hmm. and all of that. So with all of these, would food just sort all of these out? It will. I mean, what and kind of food? <laughs> so I, um, but first of all, let me just mention this. I don't know where you got the, um, where you got the idea that endorphins I are. I googled it. <laughs> <laughs> really, because when you're stressed, you want to calm your nerves. You want to calm your system. Really. Because when you're stressed, every other function in your system shuts down or takes oh. a back seat so your self-preservation is at the utmost and so it means that your cardiovascular um, system might shut down or be uh, relegated to the background your digestive so sometimes when people are stressed you see them running to the loo all the time because mm. they are you know stooling and stuff like yeah. that your heart rate increases you you can develop um, skin reactions because your body your immune system has been compromised as wow. well so many things some some women actually start losing their hair yeah wow. chronic pains inflammations and so many other things so you want to go the route of food what kind of food so the kind of food that you would go for are things that will calm you down that will help you reduce the oxidative stress that is going on in your system because if you don't inter um, you know introduce an intervention quickly it can snowball into chronic inflammation that is protracted and 80% of most chronic diseases actually um, are offshoot, an offshoot of, of, of chronic stress from mm -hmm. most people. And I mentioned the last time I said I saw um, a study, right, Bloomberg study, which is quite um, 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 credible. credible, that Nigeria is the worst is the world's most stre stressful place to live in. No, 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 no. they didn't get yeah. it right. Lagos. They, no, Nigeria. Lagos. Well, so now you're, you're narrowing <laughs> it down to Lagos. Control. Yeah, but it's quite interesting because there are so many other war-torn countries yeah. out there, and they're saying that Nigeria... Yeah, we're not even war-torn, we're just so corrupt. <laughs> is it corruption that is inducing this? <laughs> so what kind of so, food would actually uh, want, uh, what kind of food would actually calm one down? Yeah. So like I said, mentioned earlier, you want to go the route of balanced diet and to bring it back um, closer home. Um, things like um, your fiber, mm -hmm. okay. Things like your protein, your um, carbohydrates, your fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds. Mm. probiotics, prebiotics, and now this might seem like jargons to you, but mm. I normally like to simplify it by saying to my clients that just go for, eat the rainbow, 
Mm. Make your plate colorful. I see your chef this yeah, morning. Got yeah, a very, so very good one coming. Very colorful, and you don't have to do it at one meal. So you can spread it all through the day and say, okay, I'm having these colors, this for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, things like um, so to calm your body or your nerves or your system. You can go for turkey, which is a precursor to serotonin. Really? Fun. Yeah, it calms your nerves. Turkey does that. Yeah, cashew has magnesium which will help you. <laughs> now, what I want to really hone in on are phytonutrients. Okay. They are from plant sources. And a lot of us, particularly in this side of the world, we don't like give, prioritize them in our mm. meals. Yeah. Mm. So You mentioned a couple of things. You said probiotics and prebiotics. Yeah. What are these exactly? Okay, so they're probiotics kind of, especially. Probiotics, so these are living organisms in your food. They help with your gut and brain health. Mm -hmm. And if you're, if you're lacking or you're not supplying adequate amounts of this, your health will be in trouble. Your gut health will be in trouble. You can, have, you can suffer from brain fog if you are not giving your body enough. And it's quite simple, very easy to get because they are mostly fermented foods from your kunu, tiger nuts, really? and yogurt, um, pap. Millet oh, wow. pop, yeah. So. That's very interesting. Well, <laughs> there is a lack of knowledge, so people actually don't know. We just think everything is food just goes. Um, but while we have foods that can calm our stress, yeah. do we have foods that can make it rise? Rise, yeah. What are so these? So things like your sugar that you're talking about. Yeah, was in dolphins and dolphins and dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> already you're on a spike. You're already, the cortisol level is already um, compromised okay. it has it's been elevated and when it's high like that your body is asking for more sugar in order and so the, the, it, it can develop in, it can degenerate into a stage of um, insulin resistance that's type mm -hmm. 2 diabetes and you don't mm -hmm. want to go down that route wow. so you want to minimize at that point you want to minimize processed sugars processed foods proce processed meats and stuff like that mm. just to maintain homeostasis in the system oh wow so while we are talking diet yeah. there's also the fitness bit um many people argue that diet and fitness must go together do you also advise that as well yeah i do however when you're stressed you want to go for exercises that are not going to elevate okay. the stress even the more all right well thank you very much